Hello, this is Damien from the CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to design a part like this in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used for both hobby and commercial purposes. Anyone can use this system. Just download FreeCAD, install it on your computer, and you can start creating your own 3D models. We don't have to register anywhere. We don't have to provide our data. We simply download, install, and create 3D models if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. And before we go any further, the videos where I show FreeCAD through examples may not cover all of FreeCAD's features in detail. So if you are just starting to learn FreeCAD, I have created a playlist of videos that are a good place to start. The link to the playlist is in the description below the video. Now let's move on to FreeCAD. In this example, I will show you a few basic operations for creating 3D solids. We create a new part, select the parametric part, and we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Here, draw two circles, select the circle tool, place the center of the circle at the origin, and enter 20 millimeters as the diameter of the circle. Press Enter. Now draw the second circle. The circle drawing command is active, so click here with the left mouse button to place the center of the circle and enter 40 millimeters as the diameter of the circle. We close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create a solid. By extruding the sketch we select the pad operation and add an extrusion of 35 millimeters and click OK. Now we will create another part of the solid. We will create another sketch, this time on this face. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. Here we will also create two circles. But first, select the Create External Geometry command to create reference geometry and click on this line. We will use this line as reference geometry to constrain one circle to this hole. Now we select the Circle Drawing tool Place the center of the circle here and draw a circle roughly like this. Now, with the circle drawing command active, draw the second circle with a diameter of 60 millimeters. Click the right mouse button to cancel the circle drawing command. Click the left mouse button on this circle. Click the left mouse button on this line and select the equality constraint. This way, we linked this circle with the edge of the hole, and this circle simply has the same diameter as this hole. We close the sketch and add an extrusion of 15 millimeters. We click OK, and thus we have created something like this. Now we will create another sketch. This time, we will create a sketch on the YZ plane. Select this plane. Here, select the Create External Geometry command and specify this line as Reference Geometry. Switch to the Section View. Select the Circle Drawing tool. And now, as you hover over this line, near the middle of this line, you can automatically place the center of the circle at the center of this line. Enter 20 millimeters as the diameter of this circle and press Enter. We close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create an extrusion in two directions from the sketch plane. Select the pad operation, then select the symmetric to plane option and enter 70 millimeters as the length of the extrusion. We click OK and thus we have created something like this. Now we will create another sketch. This time we will create a sketch on this face. Select this face, choose to create a sketch. Then select the Create External Geometry command and specify the edge of this solid fragment so we can use this midpoint. Select the Circle Drawing tool and place the center of the circle at this point. Enter 10 millimeters as the diameter of the circle and press Enter. Now close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create a hole in this solid using the pocket operation. 
select the pocket operation and here select the type through all so that it creates a pocket through the entire solid. We click OK and we have something like this. Now we will create another sketch. Select to create a sketch and we will again create a sketch on the YZ plane. Select this plane and start by creating reference geometry. Use this command and create reference geometry based on this edge and based on this edge. Right click to cancel this command and switch to the section view. Then select the polyline drawing command and create a polyline approximately so that the first point of the polyline is placed roughly here on this line and draw a shape like this. Right click to finish drawing this polyline and right click to cancel this command. If this line is not a horizontal line, select this line and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. Next we will add dimensions. Select this line and press the D key on the keyboard to activate dimensioning. Enter 24mm as the value of this dimension. Next we will add a dimension between this point and this point and enter 4mm here. Here I want this sketch to be a little inside this solid because we will add an extrusion based on this sketch and since this solid has a cylindrical shape, the sketch needs to be a little inside the solid for the extrusion to look good. Then let's add a filler in this corner, select the fillet command, click this point and a radius has been added here. Right click to cancel the fillet command and select this radius. Press the D key to add a dimension here and enter 10 millimeters as the dimension. Then let's add the distance from this point to this point and enter 25 millimeters as this distance. OK. Select the circle drawing tool and draw a circle whose center will be at this point. Enter 10 millimeters as the diameter of the circle. OK. We close the sketch. And now we will add an extrusion based on this sketch. Note why this sketch is inside this solid because here we have a cylindrical part and if the edge of this sketch coincided with the edge of the solid there would be places here where there is no material because the extrusion would simply look bad. Now select the pad operation to add an extrusion. Here select the symmetric to plane option to add the extrusion symmetrically from the plane. We click OK to confirm it. Now let's add fillets to these edges. Select this edge and this edge. Select the fillet command and add a radius of 10 millimeters here. We click OK and have something like this. Now let's move on to create another part of this solid. We will create another sketch. Select the create sketch command and now we will create a sketch on the XZ plane. Here we will start by creating reference geometry. Select the create external geometry command and create reference geometry based on this edge. Then switch to the section view. Now select the line drawing command and place the first point of the line on this line. As you hover near the middle of this line, the first point of the line will automatically be constrained to the midpoint of this line. Draw a line that is 50 millimeters long and press enter. Enter 90 degrees as the angle and press enter. We have created the line. Right click to cancel the line, drawing command. Now select the arc drawing command and draw an arc using three points. For the first point of the arc, select one of the end points of the line. For the second point of the arc, select the other end point of the line. For the third point, place this point roughly here. Right click to cancel the arc drawing command. We will place this point on this line, select this point, select this line and choose the coincident constraint. The sketch is complete, close the sketch and now based on this sketch we will remove material by rotating the sketch around the indicated axis. Select the groove operation 
and already in the preview, you can see how it will look. Here, material removal is created by rotating the sketch around the vertical axis of the sketch. In this case, the vertical axis of the sketch coincides with the base Z axis. And that's exactly what I wanted to achieve, so I click OK, and in this way we created such a solid. Of course, the goal of this video was not only to create this solid, but using this example, I wanted to show you a few selected operations for creating solids in FreeCAD. That's all for today, we will finish here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.